You are watching a special presentation from Tinkle Group Gaming. Hello guys, welcome here to the Daytona International Raceway. Today we present to you knockout qualifying for the Jell-O Cup Series race tonight. Um, of course, Aubrey Scott on his way out lead those cars Richard Kinghart out there same rules apply as always 10 minutes to lay down the fastest lap and the top seven will advance to the race tonight under the lights here on the Daytona Oval the rest of those 10 will go home this is the last part-time race until Indianapolis as Eric Faden's out Tyler Michael Rich Steve Morgan, Nicholas Jowiet. Of course, much like Zen Joltis, this is going to be about who can get paired up quickest. So far, nobody within drafting range. But that's what these races are about. Or these qualifying sessions, it's about who can get paired up. And usually the ones that can't end up being the ones that don't make it. There goes the one pretty Shaw on the track. You saw dead ahead, that's Buffode Sacco trying to make the racy. I don't believe he has since the Daytona 500. And actually, that was a slight lie. So, of course, for the part-timers, much like Buffode Sacco, Tyler Michael Rich, and others, keep this in mind. The next time they run a points-paying race will be at Indianapolis for the Brickyard 400. The next time they run a race will be at the All-Star Showdown at Bermuda Triangle. And that, of course, will be, I believe, tentatively, it's set for before July 4th weekend. We will run there. You see, nobody's able to get paired up just yet as Eric Faden runs the second quickest time. And here's where business might pick up. There's Lyle Austin. Something tells me the 62 and the 50 might be the first two to pair up. They might bring in the 54 as well. Brian James dead ahead. Trying to get his warm-up lap complete. Might be the one in the 43 that get paired up first. Eric Faden currently the quickest. Now you see a three car draft gonna happen here. Let's go to the 62. The former Daytona 500 winner ran a 49.850. The bubble currently held by Aubrey Scott in the 23, who's trying to make his first race in a few attempts. Eric Faden trying to make his second race of the season. Forty nine two five four. Again, currently the quickest now. That sixty six of Richard Kinghart, and he's got help from that twenty three. Hodak now on the bubble. Twenty three picks up his lap time. Dad ahead, another pairing to watch here. Parker Smith, the slowest right now. And he's got Nicholas Joeet, the teammate of Richard Kinghart. Both those cars, so both MBM cars have not made the field for the same race yet this season, I don't believe. 
Could today be the day that both these MBM cars punch their ticket in? We'll see. They're, they needed a lap to really get acclimated, and I think they're good now. These guys just dragged some at Ozcon into the party. Lyle Austin on the bubble. The 9, Daniel Voiles, currently the quickest. And this three-car tandem working really well together, showing the Chevys might have the advantage here. Bafod Sacco tried to break up the party with no success. But Bafod Sacco might be securely in. Look at him, he's just taking advantage of any tail, or, you know, catching the tail of any car. That's kind of different. Oh, he's got a lift for the 05 there, Brian James, who's on the cusp of that seventh spot. He can taste it, but you see there the 54, that lift doesn't make too much of a difference. 48, 494, that should put him securely in. But again, I've been wrong. And I don't know, something just tells me I don't feel like they're going to top that. Not with three cars. And you see Brian James going to tuck in behind the 54, try to find something. See if the Japanese manufacturers can work together here, bring both these cars into the field. Brian James has not made the field since Talladega. So no doubt there's some pressure. Tenth quick. Samad Ozcon climbs into the top seven. Pretty Shaw now on the bubble. And the only part-timer that would make the race... It's rare that we get to say only one... <laughs> But Bafod Sacco might be the only one at this rate. So it looks like the full timers, the second time around at Daytona, have found something. Oh, 05 to second on the boards. That's Brian James. And these two are now 1, 2, 48, 3, 9, 8, 48, 4, 2, 6. And that bumps Pretty Shaw from the field for now. And that means Richard Kinghart now holds the bubble. Here we go, they're going to complete another lap, and they just look bad fast, these uh, the Toyotas and the Subarus here. Ryan James, 48-404. Again, he should be fine to make the field. And these Chevys, they need to get lined up. If they can get lined up, they can make a charge. And I just don't think they're going to do it. 178 in the corners, that might not be enough. Again, Richard Kinghart on the bubble. He did not make the 500. His teammate, Nicholas Jowett, did. He'll get one more go around.
Oh, a shuffle up the 24 bumps his way in. And Nicholas Jowit does too. Richard Kinghart bumped by his teammate in the final seconds of qualifying. So with that, the seven that will advance to tonight, Mitchell Hodak, Bafode Sacco, one of the part-timers, another part-timer in Brian James, the 11, Samad Ozkan, the 23, Aubrey Scott, the 55 of Nicholas Jowit, and the 43 of Dick Clark. Those seven will advance to tonight's race. The others, unfortunately, will be headed home and will have to wait for the All-Star Showdown or All-Star Race, depending on which they are qualified for. And then, of course, they will have to wait their turn until um, Indianapolis for the next points-paying event. We want to thank you for watching. We'll see you tonight. Until then, goodbye, everyone.